Sorry, Houston Texans. You're not getting three first round picks plus. It's just, it's good to ask, but you're not going to receive. So I've been waiting to talk to you about Deshaun Watson uh, and everything going on. Rumors that are out there about Deshaun Watson and the Miami Dolphins. Armando, what is the latest? The latest is that the Houston Texans have been shopping him and have been engaging multiple teams, including the Miami Dolphins, including the Carolina Panthers, which are the two teams that Deshaun wants to go to, and in that order, by the way, as I reported on OutKick. And uh, no one really wants to step up and pay the Houston Texans asking price because the Houston Texans have a, a, a player who is a great quarterback or a really good quarterback. He's obviously a top 10 player, but he's got 22 civil complaints against him, 10 criminal complaints. There's an FBI investigation. There's a grand jury uh, investigation. And the, the Harris County prosecutor is also investigating. And the Texans are acting like none of that exists and they want a mint for Deshaun Watson. And frankly, uh, you know, NFL teams are just not going to say, okay, you're right, uh, you know, Houston Texans. Let's all suspend reality and go with the player is really good and not worry about all this other stuff over here that is also a fact. There was a report, and Paul, you, you briefly touched on this this morning, that uh, ownership in Miami was really pushing for, for this trade to happen. Yeah, but I saw a headline. Armando, you, you mentioned that, that that's not the case. Not the case. I was told by a Dolphin source this afternoon that Steve Ross, you know, the idea that he is getting involved in football decisions is not accurate. The idea that he doesn't like Tua Tunga Vailoa, who is the starter for the Dolphins, is not accurate. And so while Steve Ross may have an opinion, he's not driving that bus. He's not, you know, telling guys, I sign your paychecks. Let's go do what I say. That's not the case in Miami right now. I know draft pick wise, they're set up to make a trade like this if they so choose based on what Houston is asking for in all of these media reports and who knows what they ultimately get. But as a part of this trade, would they trade Tua? Is that is that a definite in your mind if they trade for Watts and they're trading away Tua? Well, so the other thing that I reported in my outkick column was that the Texans don't really value Tua as a high, you know, exchange guy. So maybe they trade to a, if it happens, but it probably mm. wouldn't be to the Houston Texans. It, it, you know, it could be to another team and have a three-way situation going on. Uh, but again, the Houston Texans, they want draft picks. They want three first round picks, which think about this, everybody's reporting they want three first round picks plus. Um, sorry, Houston Texans, you're <laughs> not getting three first round picks plus. It's just, it's good to ask, but you're not gonna receive. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.